Okay guys, so check this out. I think that uh, this is actually going to work out pretty good. Um, I may even stay with the plastic here, but um, anyways, so this is looking inside the base of the uh, vertical stab. I've got the uh, torque rod uh, for the rudder. The rudder is actually connected right now, but I want to show you the movement here. We got, uh, that's full, um, I guess that'd be right. Uh, full left, full right, full left, full right. Um, I tried this even with um, it attached to the uh, fuselage and it seems to be working out pretty good. Um, you can see down there where the uh, set screw is going to go and basically I just need to uh, make sure that I've got a long enough um, uh, hex wrench that will reach down there but that will just kind of you can see it's down this direction, it's right about there, and we'll just follow it 90 degrees, and I'll put a hole probably at the base right there, that I can get to that set screw. Now I only need to get to that set screw once, and then I can actually cover the hole, because this will be a permanent uh, fixture, so um, I don't see that there will be a need to pull this out later unless I completely destroy the aircraft. So. And at that point, I'll probably just get another. So, anyhow, um, I think it's going to work out pretty good. And if you're wondering how I got that in there, um, really all I did was uh, take... Uh, where is it? All I did was take the aileron torque rod, put a piece of tape around there, uh, poked it into the that side, the hole, and it only goes in a little bit, and then I just pushed it onto the uh, other, um, the torque rod that's actually down in the rudder. So anyways, that way I didn't even have to get my fingers in there or anything. So um, this was just a test fit, so I don't have the ball lengths on there or anything, but that's how it's going to work. So I just want to give you guys an update. Okay, here's so here's what the completed rudder torque rod assembly looks like. Um, this is what I was just showing you that was inside the uh, vertical stab before. So, anyways, um, it actually works out perfect. The um, where these arms are coming out um, over here are line up perfectly with the uh, pre-drilled holes that were in the torque rod. So. Um, that's actually perfect and if you look over here here's the original piece that was supposed to go in there I mean the dimensions are almost the same I mean just a little bit there's gonna be a little bit less throw on my version but um, I think it's gonna be a heck of a lot easier and it's not that uh, weird cable system that they had to go in there before so um, anyways just wanted to kind of show you what everything looked like um, I think it's going to work out pretty good, and I probably will stick with this plastic. Um, I don't know. I, I, I just I, I'm going to give it a go and see what happens. So, anyways, just wanted to show you what that looked like and kind of the size comparison to the original piece. So it's almost like they manufactured it just for this kit. All I had to do was bore out the the hole to make it big enough for the torque rod there. So, anyway.